Welcome back. This is now going to be the second beginner version. And with this one, we're going to be using the band. So the idea is we're going to allow the band to help pull us up onto the bar. OK, so uh, with this, what you want to try to do is put your feet into the band. OK, so essentially it's going to be uh, its maximum length when you are holding the bar. OK, so at this position, you want the band maximum length. When you pull, what's going to happen is the band is going to help that pull. So from here, you're going to pull up and down. OK. So a couple of things to be aware of. The band has essentially two variables that you can change so you can make this easier or harder. The first one is the actual band itself. Here I have a thinner band, then there's this intermediate blue one, and then there's a thicker green one. Now, obviously, the thicker green one is going to help you a lot more than the red one, okay? It's going to be a lot more taut, which means that it's going to help that pull a hell of a lot more. The blue one, uh, intermediate, and the red one, easier, as I said. The second variable that you can change is actually the length of the band. So at this full length, the idea is that it's going to pull, but it would actually pull a lot more if we made the band shorter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually put a second hoop in over there. So now the band is shorter. It means that when it is at the bottom position, when I've got my foot in it, actually it is now a lot tighter. So when I pull, it's going to be easier. So putting these bands on the bar is very, very easy. All you have to do is hoop it over and feed it through itself. There we go. So it's now nice and tight. There are a lot of different bands on the market and depending on how thick they are is going to de determine how much it's going to help you when you do the pull. When you are using these, try to make sure that you are putting both feet into the bottom of the band, okay? Or you can place one foot in and cross your legs. Now, if the band was to slip and you've got your legs crossed, it is going to lock at your knees. So sometimes what's going to happen is the band will slip up and obviously you don't want that to go up too far. So crossing your legs is going to stop it from going all the way up. With both feet in here, also that is going to be a lot safer as well. Now using these bands does have its positives and negatives. Now starting with the positives, you can scale this as much as you like. So the, depending on the two variables of the type of band and the length of the band, determines on how hard this exercise is going to be. And one of the other things that is actually good is the fact that you can put yourself in a very good position that replicates a normal non-banded pull-up. So you're in exactly the same position as you would be if you are hanging on the bar without it. So the, the bands are very good for body position. So the bands are definitely going to help, but you've got to be aware that they're only helping for a certain range of motion. At the absolute bottom, they're going to be helping the most, but the more you pull, they're going to be helping less. So definitely towards that top range part, the bands are not going to be helping at all, depending on the length of the band, obviously, but generally at this length, at their normal lengths, the top part, you're not going to get any help at all from the bands. And we want to look at other variations that enables us to do the full range and it's going to help us the full range. So it's a definite negative with the band is it only helps us a part of the way. So one of the other obvious negatives is the fact that you need a band. You have to go out and buy these bands. So Obviously, you can't go outside straight away and expect bands to be hanging about. So it is a definite negative that you're going to have to invest in the bands a little bit. Um, but there will definitely be a big help and worthwhile investment. 
Something else to be aware of is the fact that the band is actually going to pull you forward slightly. Just the way that the bands work, they will try to find the shortest point and your body bending forwards actually will mean that the band will want to try to pull your feet forwards a little bit. And it's going to, it's going to mean that you're going to have to engage your obliques more to go straight down rather than go forwards, okay? Wrapping up, using the bands are very easy and they can be very, very versatile. Scalable by type of band and the length. Now, obviously it requires investing in some bands, but for the price and how much they can help, they are really worth looking at to do a body weight pull up and making it easier for yourself. In the next episode, we're going to look at another way of being able to do the pull ups without any equipment at all, but it can be used in combination with the bands as well. So let's get onto that and have a look at how to do a body weight pull up with the bar.